to show you a deleted scene that has never been seen by anyone before right now. Thank you again so much and enjoy. As if gamma accidents, radioactive bug bites, and assorted mutants weren't enough. I have to deal with a spoiled brat who doesn't play well with others and wants to keep all his toys to himself. Who the hell are you? Nick Fury, director of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm here to talk to you about the Avenger Initiative. Well, what are we avenging? Whatever the hell we want. What's going on, moviegoers? So if you're new to the channel, my name's Christian. Welcome to Zero Productions, you guys. All right, we got something to talk about. <sighs> Rumor has it that RDJ, Robert Downey Jr., Tony Stark Iron Man, is going to be making an appearance in the solo Black Widow film next year. Now, I did not expect this whatsoever. I thought RDJ was completely done. With how, it, with how his character ended in Endgame, Pizza Chef. Perfect. Tie into the first one. I am Iron Man. Boom. Perfect. Ended his career in the MCU. Couldn't have done it any better. Now, I didn't think that he was going to be making any appearances in any future MCU films, right? Never would have thought. But with Black Widow, it kind of makes sense. Because the timeline in Black Widow... He's not dead. Black Widow takes place after the events of Civil War. Tony's still alive. We don't really know what happened during that entire gap period. You get what I'm saying? Like after Civil War, we don't know really what happened. We don't know what Cap was doing. We don't know what Anthony, Anthony Mackey, <laughs> Sam Wilson, the Falcon was doing. Obviously we're about to know what Black Widow was doing. I thought they were all together during that, enti that entire, you know, time period between Civil War and Infinity War but apparently not apparently not she went back home and she had some more business you know to take care of um so we're gonna be getting some some backstory on that as well but I find it pretty interesting that you know if this is true Robert Downey Jr. is gonna be making an appearance in this Black Widow solo film it makes sense you know it would suit the narrative because he's still alive they had a relationship they were close to each other they both were Avengers it just makes sense it really does and I'll be honest with you I'd like to see RDJ return I miss him. I, I, I miss He started it all. Uh, and the entire Infinity Saga, he started it all. If it wasn't for RDJ, if it wasn't for that casting, we wouldn't have a Chris Evans Captain America. Chris Hemsworth Thor. You know what I mean? Scarlett Johansson Black Widow. He literally started it all. You know what I mean? And he went out with the bang. Literally. So I, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty curious to see where they take this appearance that he's going to be taking in this black widow film i don't know what this what he what what he could be doing who knows what if what even if it's like i don't know see i don't know like there's there's so many routes they can take with this you know what if it's not a flashback scene what if like they're both dead and they're talking to each other in some kind of realm like we don't know about the whole afterlife in the in the, in the marvel universe we don't know you know i know that black widow was sacrificed to get the soul stone. How did Cap return the soul stone? A soul for a soul. Here's the soul stone. Give me Black Widow back in this timeline. Thank you very much. Possibilities, you guys. A lot of possibilities that, you know, we're going to be uh, learning soon in this new Black Widow. We should be getting a trailer soon. Probably comes out in May next year, right? Yeah, I think it is May. We should be getting a trailer soon. I know that. I don't think they're, I think they're done filming. No, no, no. I think they are currently done filming. So we possibly should be getting a trailer attached, maybe even with Star Wars. That's that 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 would be the way to do it. Attach it to one of the biggest movies of the year. I know they, they showed footage over at you know, um is it D twenty three and I think Comic Con. So they got some stuff they got some stuff, you know, already edited and put together. So I find it pretty interesting to you guys. Robert Downey Jr. making an appearance in this Black Widow solo film. What could it be? I'm interested. Interested. Obviously the relationship was different. After Civil War, because the whole Soviet Accords and things like that, you know, they don't trust each other. She betrayed him. You know, it's going to be pretty interesting to see, you know, what route they take. And I love the fact, I really do love the fact that it takes place after Civil War. I love it. Like, I like that idea not being taking place 
you know, before she before she became an actual Avenger. So before like Iron Man two. I like that effect. I like that it takes place after Civil War. I really do. I think that's a that's a great great time frame to 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 have this movie. And I'm also excited to see David Harbour. I'm excited to see David Harbour and see what he what he adds to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you guys. But post your comments down below. How do you guys feel about this apparent appearance by Robert Downey Jr., Tony Stark, and Black Widow? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's too soon? Do you think that Marvel has no stakes, as some people like to say? But with Endgame, there are plenty of stakes. Plenty. Post your comments down below, you guys. I thank you for taking time today for watching Seal Productions. Peace.